this solution allows me the freedom to eat it anywhere I have a custom cook system. I can use that at home. I, I, I hope restaurants can put it there. Uh, and I can go use this thing. Okay, great. Disclosure. Now, ME217, everybody woke up. After a disclosure by the end of the semester, it's part of uh, your grade, right? So we should be, you know how to fill out some good disclosures. What do they need to know? Number one, they need to understand what's patentable. Right? And this is a very hard thing to learn. Uh, and we'll go over it briefly. Uh, but you should define a patentable subject matter. Right? What, what part of the apparatus is patentable? What part of the what process is patentable? What article of man, is the article of manufacture patentable? How about the composition of material? Is that patentable? These are all subject categories that are patentable subject categories that should be included in your disclosure. Why? Why should they be included in my disclosure? Why is it worth my value to go think about these things? And the answer is that there are governing bodies that make decisions where disclosures go. At my company, there's a patent committee. You submit disclosure, it goes to the patent committee. This government body sits up there, reads all the disclosures, and says, I'm going to file this one, I'm not going to file this one, I'm not going to file this one. And a lot of times, there's just poor information there, and I can't make a decision. Right? I can't sit on this committee and make a decision. You know, I have to send it back to the inventor. So I'm going to teach you guys how to write good disclosures, which uh, your professor will be, be happy to hear. And then, and then uh, you know, once I define that there's patentable subject matter and what the, what the newer novel thing is or what the inventive step is, then I also need to think about, well, what else should I do? Right? Because if I disclose things in my, if I disclose things in my patent disclosure, in my application, if I disclose new or interesting things or other ways of solving the problem, guess what? Nobody else can go and file them, but I can file continuations and divisionals on these other things that are in my specification in my patent. Right? So you need to really include these other things, other ways of solving them, and, and maybe why or why not you did not, you didn't select them. I mean, we don't need to write a dissertation. But we need to make things very clear for the patent attorney. Again, the patent attorney is a smart person, right? And his job is to be as creative as possible to come up with uh, a patent that will lock down IP for you uh, and, and will solve, uh, allow you to, allow you to own a large, uh, a large uh, asset. So then you fill in the disclosure form. So here are the, we, we saw this one before. There's four, there's four compatible subject areas. So let's jump into process and methods. And these are the, I, I am telling you, this is the method I use. I go think about this. Uh, is this a system or method of use by end user? Is it a method of combining things? A manufacturing process? A process I developed in machinery? Is it a new business method? I have an updated. It, is it a new business method? Is this a new way of doing business? <coughs> is it not that been done before? Uh, and what are the values of those things? So you can say, okay, I go look at my invention. You go look at it, right? It's here. And you say, you know, where are interesting methods happening? Well, there's likely some interesting methods. There's some creativity that can happen at the user interface. There's likely a lot of creativity that happens inside of the decision, inside of the engine, making decisions. And there's, there's likely you know, something on the end of the scale or how you're, how you're creating these different uh, nutrition, these different meals, uh, there's methods here. So, so we go in search of these methods and we write a process down. This would be part of our disclosure. We would put it in our disclosure document. You would have this method. You would have dietary needs. You would calculate options. You would rank them. Likely you would present them to the user. They would select one and you would make the meal on the scale and then you would provide uh, the meal with the information user. You could likely strip out a lot of things that are in here and you can come up with a more simplified process. Input the dietary needs, calculate the meal, select the, select the meal. There's probably even just input dietary needs and calculate meal options. It's probably another method you could use. These are all different methods. Right? Let's, let's focus on, on the methods. And you know, there's a business method of making custom meals. There's a method of selecting recipes. There's methods of food pairings. Now I have to give a little more information. How would I here. Right? And by the way, I wouldn't disclose, I wouldn't likely disclose anything that's not discoverable. If my user can't have this custom cook system in front of him and he can't discover how I'm doing things, I'm likely not going to disclose it. Because trade secret is maybe a better option for me than, than, uh, than the patent. You guys warm? Everybody's yeah. hot. Maybe we can open some of these windows. <laughs> 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 it's really hot. Is it open? <laughs> <laughs> 
got one of them. Maybe be on my back here help us. All right. I know it's very exciting. That's why it's so hot, right? It's, uh, just, you guys are just so excited about how do I go and vent. So that's good. I'm glad you're excited. The next uh, thing is the structure. What part of the device or apparatus or the system, what part of the structure is patentable? Is there a patentable structure? Right? So you go look, and here's my structure. Well, what part's patentable, right? There's nutrition scales on the market. That's not new, right? They, uh, they link up to nutrition databases. That's not new. Um, but is, do, they, do they calculate these things in interesting ways? Is there something about the structure I could lock down? That's, that's what I'm really asking. That's the question that I ask. We say, well, we, we, there's probably something interesting in the user interface structure uh, because the, the scale probably existed and scale with the database existed, right? These things already exist. Uh, and, and probably I could do something, I could put something on the structure of the scale to enhance manufacturability. I could probably do something interesting there that will allow me to make sandwiches fast. And then the article of manufacture. And this is kind of interesting, right? Is, is the food with the nutrition, the custom nutrition that's custom for you, that's an article of manufacture. It's now, it's now it's different. Before it was just food, and now it's got information on it. Is that, is that patentable? Can I patent that? Right? And so, and these are the things, right? You, you're not asking whether you're, you're not asking whether it's patentable, right? And remember that you disclose things that you think may be patentable, but the governing body, there's some smarter people that exist in the, the, up in the world that are going to make a decision for you. Hey, this is, we should protect this, right? I mean, that's what that's why you're going to file the disclosure with the UC Berkeley uh, Patent Office, right? There's a governing body over there, and they're going to say, hey, this is neat, or mm, I, I don't think so. Now, are they always right? No. Right. And will they, you know, anyways. Uh, and the database of recipes based on dietary needs, is there, you know, some value there for restaurants? So dietary information, meal with custom dietary information, these things are articles that are being manufactured with our process. All right, so now we're going we're to fill in this disclosure form. But I'm, I'm here to tell you what's wonderful, what's good, what's excellent news to you now, is that you already did it. You named the invention. You define the customer need, you define the solution, you, you put in a picture of the solution, and, and you talk about the newer novel aspects of the invention. Right? And, and you add detail here, focusing on what you think is patentable. Right? It's a very simple process. So I, I, I spent a little time and rearranged things on slides. I'm not going to spend a ton of time. But uh, you know, the need, there's real need to reduce health-related illnesses by providing simple means for people to track nutrition and eat, and eat well. Um, poor people, guess what? It's the fish. Poor people who have, di who have dietary restrictions, technology, the custom cook, right? Unlike, anyways, so patentable subject matter, business method, these are all in further sections of the document. Um, you just describe the problem now. You're really adding more verbiage to the issue, right? Hey, guess what? Um, you know, we have all this technology, but are we really using it to improve uh, the condition of people? You know, you are what you eat of these things. Um, what are the prior solutions? You, you talk about prior solutions that are available to people, and you say why they're different, right? Why, why are they different? They're just, it's, it's just not practical. It's not practical for me to go hire a nutritionist, by the way. I would love to hire a nutritionist and have them thinking about what I eat and improving my life so I can live a long time and hang out with my kids. <coughs> That's awesome. I would love it. Right? But there's a conflict that it's just that's not sustainable for, for my wife and I right now. It's likely not sustainable for you guys who are in grad school. I remember being a grad student, right? That was that I'm going to give my beer budget? <laughs> <laughs> that's not a likely trade off. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so, so you define, you need to define it and, and you need to make reference to things that, that exist right now and why you're going to be different. And then you tell people what you're in. 